In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the average y value of a function, also known as the mean value theorem for integrals. So suppose we have a function looking like this, where this is a and this is b. The first thing we're going to do is find c, and c is going to be somewhere between a and b. Let's say c is right here. This means that the distance from here to here is f of c. Now, instead of saying that this distance is f of c, I'm going to instead say that this distance is f of c. But as you can see, it's basically the same distance. And we're almost there. So from this point, I'm going to draw a rectangle going over here until we get to a and going over here until we get to b. So as you can see, we now have a rectangle. The mean value theorem for integral says that the area of this rectangle is the same as the area of this function if we're able to find c and f of c. Therefore, the formula is the integral from a to b of f of x dx. That's basically the area of this function right here. And that is equal to the area of this rectangle, which is the height f of c times the base b minus a. To find the average value, all you have to do is solve for f of c. Let's go ahead and do a quick example. So find the average value of the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 on the interval at negative 1 to 2. The first thing I'm going to do is write out the formula. So we have the integral from a to b of f of x dx, and that is equal to f of c times b minus a. The second thing I'm going to do is find a and b. So the interval from here to here means that a is negative 1 and b is 2. So let's go ahead and fix that. And we do the same thing over here. So b is 2 and a is negative 1. We know that f of x is x squared plus 1, so we can replace it into our integral. And over here, 2 minus negative 1 is 3. We are going to solve one side of the equation. So this integral is equal to the antiderivative of x squared, which is just 1 over 3 x to the power of 3 plus x. And the boundary goes from 2 to negative 1. So plugging the values in, we get 1 over 3 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 minus the lower bound. So 1 over 3 times negative 1 to the power of 3 plus negative 1. And this is equal to 8 over 3 plus 6 over 3 minus this in here is going to be negative 1 over 3 minus 1. This is equal to 8 over 3 plus 6 over 3 minus or rather plus 1 over 3 and plus 3 over 3 and this is equal to 18 over 3 which is simply 6. So this integral is equal to 6 and we can just replace this with number 6 and then we divide both sides by 3 we get f of c is equal to 2. 2 is the average value of this function. So if the problem wants you to find where the average value occurred, then they're asking for the value of c. Okay, so let's assume they ask for c. What is c going to be? Well, we know that f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. So f of c is equal to c squared plus 1. And since f of c is equal to 2, we know that c squared plus 1 is equal to 2. So c squared is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 1 and 1. Now, minus 1 is between negative 1 and 2, and 1 is also between negative 1 and 2. So these are valid answers. What happens if, let's say, the interval is 1 and 2, and we found out that c is minus 1 and 1? Well, minus 1 is not inside this interval, and this one is inside the interval, so which means that minus 1 is not a valid answer. So in conclusion, 
we found out that the average value is 2, so this is the answer. And if they want you to find where this value occurred, then the answers are C is equal to negative 1 and 1.